All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today we look at the T-Mobile Revel 5 Plus 5G. So this is a device that is um, one I was actually intrigued on when I first saw it. I was like, wow, you know, I like the way it looks for one. Uh, and it is supposed to be T-Mobile's most affordable 5G device coming in at $199. Now, there's a lot about this device, uh, but some key points is that it has a fingerprint reader, facial recognition, uh, and it has a 6.8 inch display, man. HD plus, which means it's going to be 720p basically uh, on the uh, on the display. So um 1640 by 720 now you know some people might shake a leg at that but i've learned that uh the display quality based on what tcl did uh yeah now i recently gave away my tcl uh 20 se congrats to the winner of that device no you didn't see a giveaway because i didn't do it publicly Ooh, this feels great man because it's got boxy sides i didn't know Ooh, that's nice. I never touched it before. Never seen it in a store. Nothing. Just saw it online. Cause I shop online. I don't like to buy in the store. Uh, they tend to try to overcrowd you with sales and stuff like that. But it has a 6.8 inch display. Um, facial recognition. I believe this has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery too. Let me double check here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Yep, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. 18 watt fast charging which is right here in the box. And it also has the newer braided type C cable. This is pretty dope right here, man. Whoa, they did the doggone thing. So um, 18 watt fast charger, which I won't use because I use a 65 or I have a 100 watt too, but um, this is gonna be interesting to, to see what T-Mobile is doing with this device for $199. Uh, I like to try to get devices that are somewhat affordable so that way, you know, people looking could possibly, you know, you, you're you want to save some money, uh, you'll be able to do it. Now, this is just beautiful in the color shades. This is what I wanted. Ooh, this is way more beautiful in person, folks. Do you see this? Again, I never looked at this at a store. Nothing. I just. Saw it online and ordered it. T-Mobile, you got a winner with this one. This is like a, it's got a frosted, uh, is this a sticker on here? Oh, this is a sticker on here. Oh man, I'm tempted to leave this on here though because I like how this, is it a sticker? Uh, let's see. No, that's a frosted back. Okay, no, it's a sticker. Is it? I'm tripping right now. If it is a sticker, anyway, I I like it like that. And it's probably not supposed to be there, but I can't get it off right now. So I don't want to troll myself on camera, but you've got a power button here with a fingerprint reader uh, built into it. So I got a little vibration uh, and then here now, we, now we're getting into this big, <laughs> big area down here at the bottom. Uh, but this is a 6.8 inch display and the display is 20 by nine. So it's super narrow. Uh, it is a tall device, which is fine. Let me see here. What's next to me? All right, let me, get, well, I got my surface tool, obviously, but let me grab something that's tall. Wow, that's a beautiful looking phone right there, man. Here is a tall device. So it's, it's even taller than the TCL 20 Pro. Whoa, this is beautiful though. Ooh, this is so nice. So I won't bore you with the setup. I'll get this set up uh, and then, um, I'll go ahead and let me get a 6.8 inch display though. How about that? I, I, I think it should be fair to get something that has a 6.8 inch display. And here is the uh, velvet. Okay, yes, yeah, so there you go. It's it's not as big as one would think. It's actually the size of the velvet. It's just thicker and but it's got flat sides, which is just beautiful. I'm gonna say. So again, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this all set up, uh, and then we're gonna get into uh, this video here. I'll get my SIM card in here, and like I said. I'll see if this is actually, <laughs> I'll see if this is actually a sticker or not. I think it's a sticker, uh, like a protector or whatever, but I can't get it off. It looks great though. Ooh, should I leave it on if it is a sticker? Like a protective type thing? Cause it's hard to get off. It looks like a back glass protector. Should I leave it on? Let me know in the comments. Let me get this set up. This thing is beautiful. We'll go around the hardware again. 
All right, guys, so we are back and I've got it set up and I've actually been playing with it for just a little bit. Wow, you know, it is, it's actually refreshing. The more and more I play with this, this is like a plastic feeling version slash metal of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is what it feels like. It, it feels like an iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, in my hands. And the reason I say plastic is because of the back has this frosted glass. Uh, and I, I, truthfully, I, I went and looked at Team Mobile's video and they didn't have this peeled off. So I guess it is permanently on there frosted and that is actually beautiful. So, uh, but yeah, this kind of feels like an iPhone 12 Pro Max, um, just kind of plastic on the back, but the sides feel uh, aluminum and everything. And um, yeah, so the SIM tray is here. You get a uh, SIM tray, which doubles with an SD card slot, which you can do up to two terabytes. You got the volume rockers over here. And then obviously the power button doubles as a fingerprint reader. On the bottom, you actually have a headphone jack, a type C and a loudspeaker. On the top, you have a, another microphone, and that's probably just gonna be for noise canceling. Uh, but uh, on the back here, you've got that uh, three camera setup here, AI triple camera setup, it says on there. And it's actually pretty cool, man. The uh, facial recognition and fingerprint reader, everything is pretty fast. Let me show you the facial recognition here. You can see, see how fast that is? Yeah, that's pretty fast. And the fingerprint reader is, uh, fairly fast too. There we go. I have it set to just go straight into the screen. Now there was absolutely no bloatware on this device to my surprise. Um, I've got my apps installed, but um, if you notice on the startup, it did one of those things where it did not register as a T-Mobile phone. And then after I put my T-Mobile SIM, SIM card in here, then the, the boot up screen became a T-Mobile uh, boot up screen. So uh, I'm, I'm starting to wonder why that is and why all of the T-Mobile phones do that now. And some T-Mobile phones don't even have a boot up screen with T-Mobile, depending on which device it is. So uh, this hardware, folks, is as, as, as I marvel over it for just a second here, it is actually really beautiful. And it's refreshing to see a $200 phone look like this. This is incredibly sleek and while it is big uh i like it man i think this is a beautiful uh iteration of a smartphone this this feels fantastic now um let's take a look at the display and i'll fire up a video real quick just to show you uh, how beautiful this display actually is now obviously the a7c is the most expensive camera i have two thousand dollars and the other cameras i have are about a thousand the combinations are a thousand or less so you tell me which quality do you like best? Really, really beautiful screen. They they brag about it having a really big, nice, bold, beautiful display. And I think they actually hit it out of the park, man. I'm actually pretty impressed uh, with this. Uh, this is this is pretty good, man. I'm, I'm excited to, that I brought this in. Uh, and I, I, I did put my main SIM card in here just to really get the gist of it and see and use it on T-Mobile's network. Uh, but I actually doing so, I actually like this already. So... This is pretty strange that this affordable device can um, can give you this type of quality. Now let's look inside the device before we move to the next step here that I want to talk about. And we'll give a quick run through the settings and I'll show you the cameras and everything. But um, uh, the device itself uh, is running the one of the newer MediaTek processors. And people shake a leg at that, but in reality, this 700G is equivalent to the 765G. Uh, in its performance and everything. So uh, that's that's something to be uh, excited about because that's how T-Mobile and that's how some of these devices, you can have these low prices. Now, one thing I wanna say is some of the sounds and everything, it sounds like the ZTE phones. So if you know who manufactured this device, tell me in the comments because I'm listening to some of the sounds like the um, notifications, the camera when it takes a photo. I don't know who actually manufactures this device but please tell me if you know who did uh, in the comments, because for $200, this is fantastic, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful device. And so far, since we're talking about the processor, the performance has been fast. Again, there was no bloatware on here. Uh, I don't consider the T-Mobile stuff bloatware because you use those things, but I added a few of my apps right here to get me going and it's actually pretty good so far, man. So the cameras on here, uh, the main shooter is a 16 megapixel wide with autofocus. Then you have a uh, ultra wide at five megapixels and then a two megapixel depth sensor because this does have portrait photo and they call it live focus. Uh, but when I was taking some photos, I was like, well, this sounds like some of the ZTE sounds, but uh, on the front, it says that this camera does 1080p 30, 
Uh, and on the rear, it says that it does 1080p 30 in some of the places that I've seen it online. But that's not true because when you go into the camera settings and um, cancel, let's go here. When you go into the camera settings uh, and then I go into video and I go into the video uh, settings, you can clearly see if I turn off 30 frames per second, I can do 2560 uh, by 1440. So always be mindful of what you're seeing online when you're talking, when you're looking at devices and things like that. And when you get the device, then you'll see what it actually does. So as you can see here, I can do 1440 by 1440, or I can do 2560, which is 2K. Uh, I can do 14, uh, 1440p, 1080p, uh, 1080p at full, which is 2460 by 1080p. And then um, if I switch it down a level, I can turn on the 60 frames per second, but that turns off both of the full screen and the 2K. So when I switched it around to the front, it actually shot uh, in, in those modes. So I was kind of surprised. Uh, and then let me show you what I'm talking about when I take a photo of something, the sound. That sounds like that ZTE sound. So I want you to hear those sounds on there, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I'll go ahead and show you the cameras real briefly and then we'll get into the settings. But first, let me show you something here. This is a T-Mobile 5G device. So am I getting good speeds in my office? Because you know, in my office, I don't get the best speeds, but lately I've been getting 400, 150, and we're in the middle of the day at almost two o'clock Central Standard Time, and everyone is on the network right now. You know they are. So um, yeah, let's just take a look and see what my speeds could be. So I would say T-Mobile is definitely improving their network because during the middle of the day in my office, I could never get over 40. And we're at peak time and people are, look at this, 152. At some point I would get 400 in my office, which I think is really crazy. Uh, but again, these don't really do too much, but it's just letting you know these are the possibilities of the speeds that you could possibly get. So uh, to my surprise, uh, in the middle of the day, uh, T-Mobile is getting 150 plus. Pretty strange. So they're making some improvements in my area and I'm pretty excited about it. So now um, I'll go ahead and show you, uh, and while that's not like true, that's not the millimeter wave five, like the one one terabyte down that, you know, that, that, you know, you don't need all of that. You only need about 10 to stream. So um, to get a comfortable uh, stream or a comfortable, uh, you know, uh, video to play back at a higher rate. Uh, but nonetheless, I think T-Mobile has done great uh, with this device so far. I am truly impressed with it, man. It is really, really nice. The hardware is nice. The performance so far is nice. So now I'll show you the cameras real quick and then we'll come back and close this video out. Let's do it. So it's one of those really sunny days out. So I'm squinting a lot, but uh, the camera can actually do um, 1080p 60 and all the settings on the rear. It can actually, it looks like it can do it on the front too. Uh, so um, I think the quality is actually uh, pretty decent just looking at the viewfinder over here. All right, this camera can actually do full screen, which is like 26 by 40 by 1080p, or it can do 1080p 60, which is what I'm recording right now, or it can do 10, uh, 2K, which is 1440p. I think that's pretty cool. No 60 frames per second at the 2K setting, uh, 1440p, but still, it's actually pretty good video. guys so i uh, showed you the cameras kind of look over the device for a little bit now let's just briefly get into the settings and we'll get out of here um uh personally after using this device for a little bit of time um it's it's really nice man i mean it has everything a person could possibly want you've got good 5g speeds on t-mobile's network it costs 199 dollars, and if you trade in a device you get it for free so that's a huge plus uh, just trade in any working device and you can get this for free uh so Let's go into the settings real quick here. Performance is great on here. Four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs onboard storage. We'll change this to dark mode because it does have it. See if that's better on your eyes for the camera. Um, but let's turn the brightness down here. 
see if this is turned to make sure auto is working. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put it about right there for now. So uh, this is the settings and this is a stock Android device. With, it seems like it has a mild overlay based on the uh, app icon for the phone. Uh, and then the messaging app is some kind of white messaging app. This is why I think this is a ZTE device underneath all of this. And that's not a bad thing. It's just that um, I, I like it. Uh, so, and uh, I really do believe this is this was manufactured by ZTE. Uh, and if so, T-Mobile is doing great, but, and they probably struck a great deal uh, with them to produce this device for them. So, uh, nonetheless, here's a stock Android setup. Uh, and you've got your internet settings and Wi-Fi and everything. You've got NFC and Bluetooth. You've got um, Android Auto. So I'm curious to see if this will work with Android Auto Wireless in my car because both of my cars uh, that I date, drive, drive have um, wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay. Uh, so I'll see once I fire this up and put it in there. But you've got your NFC. Uh, you've got the cache. You got Bluetooth. You can obviously printing services. Chromebook link. Nearby share is a great. If you're not using nearby share on your Android phone, something's wrong. Just kind of think of AirDrop. Uh, I'll go ahead and say it. Just think of AirDrop, and you're you're doing great. Uh, apps and uh, notifications. You can see this is just the norm. You can see that's that's what it looks like in there. Uh, you got your wallpapers. Let's go into wallpapers real quick, and then we're going to see if this is actually manufactured by ZTE, unless they're using the Google wallpapers, and I think they are. Yeah, they're using Google wallpapers. Uh, but I like this magenta-looking wallpaper, so I'm going to leave it there. But these are all Google wallpapers, so um, yeah, that's good to go. You've got um, your brightness, your theme, your dark theme, adaptive brightness. Let's turn that on and off so it can reset. Uh, and then uh, you've got your, t you know what the time out on here is eight hours. Look at this. I've never in my life seen something that would let it time out for eight hours. That's crazy right there. That's fantastic. They really have faith in their battery if they're going to let it. And I can't wait to follow up on the battery with this for you either. And you got your font size for your uh, display here, whichever you want. Uh, you got your screen size. Now, let me raise my font size just a hair there so I can get it more to my liking, a little bit bigger. You get screen saver is clock, or you can change it to whatever. Uh, do, 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 wake, uh, lift to wake, and double tap to wake. Those are some great features right there. Your sound, uh, and, and another reason why I felt like I hate to beat this up, but there is another reason I feel like this is somewhat manual by uh, by ZTE is because these are all the ZTE style ringtones, except for the addition of the new T-Mobile ringtone, which is here. Yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and rock out with that. Uh, but yeah, um, you got your custom alarm sounds and or default alarm sounds. You got your notifications again, ZTE ring uh, notifications and stuff in there. So sound enhancements, hi-fi mode, so high fidelity. So that's good. Uh, your storage here uh, is obviously 64 gigs on board storage with an SD card uh, and 14 gigs uh, is being used of the 64 with all of my things on there. And the system only takes 1.1 gig. That is a low usage for a system, and I like that because there were no, there was no bloatware on here at all. Uh, your permissions and location, security. You can do facial recognition and a fingerprint reader, which is the fingerprint readers on the side, uh, which is really really nice. I like that. You got your accounts. We don't need to go in there. Accessibility. Uh, you can see here uh, how it is for uh, all your accessibility apps. These, these are kind of the the norm uh, for accessibilities. Uh, nothing that you haven't uh, heard or, or, excuse me, seen before in here. Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, uh, digital well-being is here. It's uh, what in there. Digital well-being is here. Uh, you can set up digital well-being for yourself. Give yourself a break from your phone. And that's ultimately what it is. And you go into systems, gestures. It came with the three button turned on, but I immediately turned that off. I did not want to have that on. Uh, yeah, and you got your power menu. It, you know, you can have it uh, device controls and everything in there. So same same setup stock Android um, Yeah, quick open camera, please. I forgot to turn that off. I do not like the quick open camera There's been too many times where I oh I accidentally had the camera going in my pocket and it burned my battery out I didn't know it. I was riding for hours and and it was on we're on the June security patch and the June uh, security patch for the Play Store uh, and so there it is Android 11 uh, this thing is great, man. Quick run through for the settings. Uh, let me get my microfiber cloth here and clean out this back area because this is a beautiful, beautiful 
device. I am very happy that I brought this in. I like this, man. This is crazy. I mean, it's a huge device. Let's be clear here. 6.8 inch beautiful display, but they did a number on this thing, man. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful device. I can't believe if you want a big Android phone um, and you don't uh, you don't want to break the bank and you're on T-Mobile and you don't want to break the bank and you're on T-Mobile, here it is, folks. This is this is great. This is a beautiful, beautiful phone. I, I, I like it. Performance has been uh, solid for me. No problems whatsoever. I've been playing with it and uh, it's been good. Um, I, I don't know. I, there's no complaints at this point. I like it a lot. Why is Palm pushing that phone all of a sudden? Is that on sale? I've been seeing a lot of Palm. Is it me or have you been seeing a lot of Palm uh, coverage on? Okay, yeah, endless. T-Mobile, you have a freaking winner right here. This hardware, and again, the way I'm going to describe this hardware is, you think about an iPhone 12 Pro Max with a plastic back. That's what you need to think of. Yeah, this is beautiful. You do the 3D effect. Yeah, I do that 3D effect where people have it like they have it look like it's floating. I guess I could turn it with the box. This is all they do, folks. When they when they try to make things look like it's floating, this is what they do. That that's it. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. I would sit like this. So I can have my floating effect. I love it. I'm out.